Hey guys, today I have a very exciting video for you. I have my very first Second and Charles haul for you. This was the first time I've ever been to a Second and Charles. It was an hour away, so it was a little bit of a trek, but I made it. Um, I went because it is part of the Books a Million umbrella, I guess you could say. It is a Books a Million company, and I used to work for Books a Million. I loved that place. It's holds a very special place in my heart and there is no books a millions near me I think the closest one is also an hour away but in a different direction so I wasn't able to go to my favorite books a million but I did get to check out second and Charles and if you don't know what that is it's a used bookstore question mark except it's not all just books it's also comics it's also vinyls CDs other forms of media. I know they were buying back video games, but I didn't see any in the store. Um, so I don't know if they actually sell them there or what the deal is with video games. But they were buying them. They bought a couple of mine. Um, I did bring some stuff in for them to buy, and they bought some of it. They didn't buy all of it, but they bought some books that were in okay condition and if you've ever tried to sell to books million this was my job was book buyback lead so what I would do is I would buy back your books except I would give you 10 cents for each book when you bought it for twenty dollars and um, also I would only accept things were in pristine condition if they had a cracked spine if they had spills if they had rips if they had literally anything wrong with them I would not accept them and that is not up to me, that is up to my company. To see some items there that were ripped, um, yellowed, discolored, cracked spines was pretty interesting and they bought back some of my books that had that. If you have some books that are not in great condition, maybe you crack your books, how dare you crack your spines, oh my god, but if you do, and all your books are in terrible condition, you can probably bring them back to Second and Charles and they will probably take them. You get double the amount if you get it in store credit instead of cash. So I got store credit. I got about nine bucks of store credit and it would have been about four dollars of cash and I was buying books anyway there. I might as well get the store credit and get double the amount and also <laughs> It was a Sunday, it was an hour and a half wait, and that whole time of an hour and a half, I was shopping in the store. So if you have a whole day to blow, go to Second and Charles, spend all day there, try to sell some of your stuff. It's great, I love that place, I'm a big advocate for it. Also, the person there was wearing a shirt that I owned. Um, I had it that said Books A Million, but theirs said Second and Charles, and it was the same exact shirt, which was interesting. I should have worn that shirt today. I looked at it and I was like, ooh, I like that shirt. I should wear that shirt. And instead I wore this, because it's a little cold. I'm gonna stop rambling, I'm talking a lot. There were 10 books that were on clearance. It was buy five, get five free. This is seven of them and you could tell that they were on clearance because they had these little stickers on them that said a different price on them. This is mostly teen, mostly romantic comedies by Simon, what is it, Simon Pohl, Simon and Schuster, Schuster, Schuster? I don't actually know how to pronounce that. I've never pronounced that before. I've just read it. But these are amazing. I have about four of them, but now I got all of them. <laughs> they had like all of them at Second and Charles, so I got all of them. So, uh, this is the first one. It's called The X Games. Um, I don't know if I'm going to tell you what each of the books say because there's a lot of them. There's probably about 30 books here. That would be a long video and I already don't know how to shut up. So I think I'm just going to show you the book. Maybe I'll show you the back. So if you want to, you can pause and read. There you go. There's a chance to read it. These books are so good. <laughs> they are young adult. Some of them have not adult themes, but some of them just you'd read them and you're like, whoa, I didn't expect that to be in there. All right. Um, and this 
was originally, well, originally this was a $6.99 book. It was at Second and Charles for $2.10 and then it was on clearance for $0.50. Cents. This book, the next couple books are kids books because I also like middle grade fiction. This is called Lizzie at Last. This was originally, doesn't say, it says this edition is only available for distribution through the school market. So they got this from their little scholastic book fair, which <laughs> I'm so jealous of them. I miss those so much. But this is a cute little book. Um, it's about a seventh grader called Lizzie Archer. And this was $1.75 and I got it for $0.50. Cents. And this says $5.29.14. Um, so this book has been there. Yeah, there's another 2014, 2015, 20, 2016, 2016. These books have been bought back for years. So they've been sitting there waiting for me to come along for years. Here I am, baby. I'm here to take care of you. So this I got for technically 25 cents because they were buy five, get five free, and they were 50 cents. So looks pretty good. Here's the back. I don't know if you're actually going to read them. I have a feeling nobody is, but just in case there's someone who wants to read it. This was an accident. I owned this book before. This book actually has some funny memories. When I was younger, I am still this way. I don't like being told what to do. And um, my parents like to tell me what to do <laughs> because they're my parents. So they tell me, hey, do the dishes. Hey, clean your bathroom. Hey, do the laundry. Do this. Do that. And I'm like, no. And so they take things from me. <laughs> so when I was younger, they took this book from me because... I was reading instead of doing my chores. So my mother took my book from me. I knew exactly where she put it. She put it in her bedside table and I knew it was there but I dare not touch it. So uh, she had it for years <laughs> because we both forgot about it. And then one day I was like, can I have my book back? <laughs> She's like, oh yeah, I guess, yeah, whatever. And this was the book that she took from me because I did not do my chores and I was reading instead and she got really pissed at me. It sounds like a nice book. It sounds like a pretty grown-up topic. Her strong self-reliant mom is injured in a car accident. Her mom took her and her brother to Maine for the summer to recuperate and so that's what this book is about is her summer in Maine. I don't remember anything about it, but it was a dollar for a book I already read. And it was originally $5.99. It was at Second and Charles for $2.20, and then it was on sale for a dollar. I didn't even look at the front of this book when I was there. Um, I was looking for these little tags that were on sale. So I was going through the kids section, and I would just see the little tags, and I'd look at the book. And I looked at the back of this book and I never turned it to the front because if I saw the front, I would have recognized it immediately and gone, I own that book. I don't need that book. <sighs> I don't think I own it anymore. I don't remember seeing it when we moved here. So I might have gotten rid of it. So this is a chance to read it again. So that's good. The next two books are from a series I guess called The Outer Limits. I have never heard of that before but they were both on sale for 50 cents so I decided to give them a shot. This one's called The Vanished. It has a little like a amusement park theme to it. Um, it sounds pretty interesting. I mean I don't know what these are about. I can read you a little excerpt because it has a little excerpt here. Silence. There wasn't a dial tone. He slammed the receiver down and the panic started to close in again. He rushed outside and yelled, Is there anyone down there? Anyone at all? There was no reply. When his voice died down, there was only silence, save for the creaking of the trees. Nick fell to his knees on the lawn and stared all around in disbelief, shock, and fear. Nobody. Nobody here at all but him. Where was everyone? Was he the last person left in Mesopiqua? Mesopiqua? I've never heard of that before. 
or the horrible thought started to batter at his frightened mind. Was he the last person anywhere? Has something terrible happened, straining him there all alone? What was going on? Was there anyone else, anyone left at all? Wow. The Vanished. Sounds spooky. So that's pretty exciting. I'm excited to read that. It was... This was made in 1998, so that was an old one. Doesn't say how much it used to cost. Oh, $3.99. Don't you wish books were still $3.99? Uh, Second and Charles had it for $1.40, and then it was on sale for $0.50. Cents. Here's the other Outer Limits, the Xanti Misfits. This looks very sci-fi. Welcome to Reform School, alien style. So it is a little, a little, uh... This is a series, so how many books are there? Xanti Misfits is actually book one. This is book seven, The Vanished. Interesting. Um, I wonder if they are all the same kids. I'm assuming not, because then... Okay, so this is about a guy named Nick. This is about Ben and Lisa. So I'm assuming they are the kind of books where they're the same series, but they don't go in order and you don't have to read them all to understand. This was, I'm assuming, also $3.99. Yes. And they had it for $1.40 and it was on sale for $0.50. Cents. And this was 1997. This was 1998. So I was one year old when this series came out, which just blows my mind because here we are in 2020 reading a 23 year old book. Like, I don't know, that stuff just blows my mind that something that someone had written so long ago is getting a second life. I don't know, I like it. The next book is called The Valentine's Day Disaster. I think this is a cute, cute little front cover. It's adorable. Maddie loves soccer. She doesn't love Valentine's Day. So what happens when two worlds collide? Disaster, that's what. This one doesn't say how much it used to cost, but it was at Second and Charles for originally $1.95 and they were on sale for 75 cents. I didn't show you the back of any of these. <laughs> Here's the back of this one. I don't know if you can read them. They're such small little writing. This is called Texting the Underworld. This one was kind of expensive. Uh, this was originally $7.99. <laughs> I like the first the first sentence of this. Connor O'Neill always thought spiders and his little sister Glenny were the worst kind of monsters life had in store. That was before an inexperienced young banshee named Ashling showed up in his bedroom. This is about him and a banshee, and the banshee actually wants to go to school with him. Um, so she does. It's crazy. Um, so it sounds really, really good. This was at Second and Charles for $2.95 and it was on sale for $2. That's really not a good deal, but it sounded really funny. <laughs> so I decided to give it a shot. But $2 for a clearance item? Girl. And now we're moving on to this big, big lots bag. And I'm glad I brought a bag in full of books to donate or to get money for. They don't actually have bags. They have like reusable totes that you can buy. Um, but they were like $4.95. One was really, really cute. It had like a bookshelf look to it and it, it said something on it, something about loving books. And I really wanted it. And I asked her how much it was and she said, $4.95? And I said, girl, never mind. <laughs> if it was like $2.95, I definitely would have bought it, but $4.95? That's a little steep in my opinion. I found the receipt. This was one of the receipts. They actually had to do two separate transactions. One was for the clearance items and one was for the other items, just to make sure everything came out alright. It looks like some of the items were not what they said that they were going to cost. They, like, they, I don't know how they decided how much they were going to cost. But um, the texting the underworld I see right here was 84 cents, even though the clearance price says $2 and it was buy one, get one free, technically. So um, what they did, I guess, was just kind of like figure out how much it would have cost for them and then deducted a little bit from each item or something. I'm not quite sure how they did that, but they did. And um, 
I'm okay with it, but some of these items that were 50 cents probably didn't actually cost me 50 cents. Let me see. Both of those outer limits were 50 cents. How much did they cost? 40 cents. So they weren't actually 25 cents. They were 40 cents each. So that's something to keep in mind. Even though they're buy five, get five, they're not half off of what they cost. They do something weird in there and kind of like figure it out that way. But um, I don't really care. So whatever. Let's get started with an R.L. Stein book. This is a book I have never heard of, which is crazy because I've heard of every R.L. Stein book. Um, this is called Zombie Town. I do not have this book. Now I do, so that's exciting. I love the look of it. It's a very small book, if you can tell. Very small. Uh, this was $150. These were not on sale. I know a couple of the other items were on sale, and I'm going to show you them when I find them, but this was not one of the ones that were on sale. $1.50 is kind of expensive for like 50 pages, but it was R.L. Stein. I would pay $2 for that book because it's R.L. Stein, who I also met. This is a Rotten Apple book called Drop Dead Gorgeous. I think I have nearly every other uh, Rotten Apple book besides this one. I've never seen this, at least. I mean, I could own it. <laughs> I very well could own it and then just forgot about it but I don't think I've ever seen this book. It looks really, really good. I love Rotten Apple books. I think they're so, so good. Um, mean Ghoul, Zombie Dog. I don't think I have Dawn of the Dead. I might, but the ones that are like, check these out. I've had, I have at least two of the three of those. Um, I've never bought them new. I bought them off eBay. I found them at thrift stores. I found them at used bookstores. Um, but I've never seen them anywhere new. Not even at, like, Books Million. I've never seen these new. So, um, they must be a little old. But they have, like, older stuff that are still in publication. Like, Goosebumps books. The original Goosebumps books. Like, they still have those. I know that they came out with a re-release of them. But that had to have been a couple years ago. So, let's see how old this book is. Uh, Nathan used to own this book. 2014. That's not that old. That was the year I graduated high school. <laughs> like, that wasn't that long ago. But Nathan did have to say this is his book. Well, it's mine now, Nathan. So, mm. anyway, I'm excited about this book. I have gone through this many books. I've talked for like 30 minutes. All right, let's get a move on. Lumberjanes. I love Lumberjanes. This, I think, is book two of the kids' books. Book two. Um, book one is Unicorn Power, which I already own. You can see it there. I have that book. Not read it, but I have it. I don't have the Lumberjanes actual, like, big books. I think I've read the first one, but I don't own them. I really want to own them because they are so good. I love Lumberjanes. Really good. Squirrel Girl is also very, very good. Also, Batgirl, the new 52 so good. There are a couple graphic novels I really like, but a lot of the time I've got them from libraries or I've gotten them on loan from Books A Million when I used to work there because they're very expensive <laughs> when they're the big graphic novel, like big collection of comics. They're so expensive. So I would always like like, hi, yeah, I'd like to um, borrow this book. Thank you very much. Um, it's $60. I'm going to take it home. I'm going to read it and I'm going to bring it back. Thank you. So if you're wondering, um, maybe you got a book from Books A Million that looks like someone read it. They probably did <laughs> because uh, employees could take home, I think, any book and read it and then bring it back. So that's kind of sketchy, but we did it. So, <laughs> there you go. But I'm really excited about this one. The moon is up. Looks really, really good. I mean, Lumberjanes is amazing. I'm so happy that I found this. It was $3.50, which it's a, a new hardcover book. Like, this is a newer book. When was this made? 2018. So, it's a newer book. Um, for them to have it used is pretty good. And it's a pretty fair price, $3.50. So... I'm happy to have that. And these I was very excited to find. 
these are called flirt and i have the first flirt book and i thought it was really really good um this is book two and book four so i don't have book three and i need to find book three so that way i can read them in order i don't know how many of them there are but they're really good i think she works at a magazine publication kind of thing and it's about her um alexa perhaps is that what it's about alexa this is about kyoko so um i guess each book is about a different person um because the first one i think was a blonde these were originally 6.99 i got them for a dollar each so this one was a dollar this one was a dollar that's pretty good those i was excited to find and then i was also very excited to find like a million of these um oh my god there's so many of them um romantic comedies and there also are some that aren't technically the romantic comedy series like this one at the top they're not technically the romantic comedy series but they're kind of the same type of vibe so i figured i'd like them i'm gonna put them in order um and talk about the ones that are actually romantic comedies first and then talk about the ones that are not this looks so much like a romantic comedy one and it's from the same brand simon pulse simon schuster look at this this is a romantic comedy book and this isn't and they look exactly the same but they don't say on them but here on the back it shows these and they all say romantic comedies and none of these say romantic comedies on the back isn't that crazy prom crashers i hope i don't have that one that one looks familiar I have four that are technically the romantic comedy series and then I have like 10 that are not but they look exactly the same so this one's called mismatch ah it's about um, a girl that's good at matching people up but apparently she ooh this sounds good okay sasha finnegan has always had a knack for setting people up and at 16 she turned her talent into an online business molding high school crushes into true love but sasha finds her toughest match yet when hottie derek urban asks her to set him up with sasha's gorgeous sister maddie it's not that derek isn't a good catch in fact after spending so much time with him sasha can't help but think he's perfect for her that is can Sasha push her feelings aside for the sake of her business, or has the miss finally found her match? That sounds so good. I bet this is going to be such a good book. So I'm very excited to read that. Who needs Cupid when you got mismatch? And this was originally $6.99, and I got it for $2.45. This one's called Love Hollywood Style. This looks amazing. I'm sure it is. <laughs> And this one was $2.45 also. You want to read that? This one's called Perfect Shot. This was actually more expensive. And it's got a crack down the spine. So that's kind of weird. There's the crack right there. I don't love that it's cracked. Um, but it's going to be fine. Um, this one, of course, also sounds good. $2.75 was what this cost. Sea of Love is this one. And this was $2.65. There's what that looks like. There's the back. And then here we're getting into the ones that are not technically the romantic comedy series. This one's called Animal Attraction. And she's obviously in a costume. So that's fun. <laughs> and this was $2.60. This was originally $5.99. So it's actually a little bit cheaper. But it's it costs the same amount technically at um, Second and Charles. Are these all this one's 6.99 so that's weird um maybe they all got a little bit of a upgrade in price after a little bit but look at this so see how their names are you can see their names are all the same way but these two are not romantic comedy this one is it's so weird i mean it's all the same company but still it's like what this one's called getting lucky oh and this was 6.99 on sale or there for 280 prom crashers this looks very familiar to me so i hope i don't own this one already this was also one of the ones that was on sale um this was originally 210 and i got it for a dollar it was originally originally 5.99 though and then this one is called never bite a boy on the first date this isn't 
one of those but it's kind of like that this is by harper teen though this was originally 5.99 this was actually from books a million as you can see the little sticker on there that was from books a million that's where they bought that new in 2010 and then in 2016 it came to second and charles for 225 and it was on sale for a dollar this one's called he's with me for now or for real this one was a dollar also originally 4.99 which is a really good price and it was on second and charles for a dollar 75 originally this one's called south beach sizzle this was originally 5.99 at second and charles for 210 tourist trap looks really good this is a horseback riding book this was 1.95 and uh, originally it was 5.99 i think is what it says underneath that sticker um and there's the front ripped at the seams this sticker is not a second and charles sticker um which is a shame because that would be cool if these were three for two but they're not they were from again from books a million in 2007 for $6.99 and then I got it for $2.75 at Second and Charles. My battery died. 30 guys in 30 days is the next one for $2.75 originally $6.99. This one doesn't have an original Books A Million sticker on the back but I love when they do. I just think that's so cool because I recognize those. This one is called Be Mine. This is the last book. So we made it. Pat yourself on the back. I don't know why you're still watching, but thank you. This is called Be Mine. Cupid is taking aim. And it says, who will win the most romantic couple contest? It all depends on who the couples are. And it shows Jennifer, Tom, Keith, Eden, Natalie. Oh, girl. And Will. So that's the back. I didn't even notice that my name was on there. That's pretty cool. Uh, I love seeing my name in books. Natalie's Neighborhood Video Store always had the best DVDs. You can tell this was like a 2004 book. When was this written? 2009? And they're still talking about DVDs? Wow. Okay. Whatever. No judgments. Here's my second in Charles receipt for the other orders. Oh, this is actually for the buyback. I got 920 back for my books and a couple gains. So that is everything that I got at Second and Charles. Let me know if you've read any of these books. Let me know if any of them sound good to you. Let me know if you're actually going to go look them up and find them and buy them. That would be really cool if like from me buying them, you bought them too. Um, if you're looking online, I suggest eBay for books, and I also suggest thrift books. Um, I think I have a link in the description for thrift books. Check the description. <laughs> I'm not sure, but I think I might. So check the description about thrift books. They're really good. I love thrift books. That's where I've gotten a lot of books before. Um, I got a lot of charmed books from thrift books, so if you want to look at some charmed books I have them on my YouTube channel so you can watch those I have a little video of me showing a bunch a bunch of charmed books so if you want to look at them they're on my channel thank you and I hope you enjoyed this big old log old haul of me finding amazing books that took me like an hour and a half to find. <laughs> I took forever in the bookstore and that is why I go alone because nobody will want to be there with me for that long because I take so long in bookstores. But if this video was interesting to you, I hope you found a second in Charles near you that you can go to and see what you can find. As you can see, there's a lot of these mass market paperbacks where they're a little smaller than a average book. Um, there's a lot of them there. So if that's your jam, because it is my jam, um, then you might be interested in going to a Second and Charles near you or another bookstore. Always check used bookstores around your area. You know, shop local. That would be cool. So thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you wanna, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.